Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. I'm going to continue working on this um, folio for Everlasting Journals. My stuff is sliding all over the place because I, again, have piles and piles. Okay, so I pulled out a couple of things. I shrunk this page down from the bigger one because um, I wanted a little bit more of a smaller pattern. So we're going to go ahead. This I, I cut this out of something. I think I'm just going to put it down there. And I got, <laughs> I found these in my stash. I had gotten them at a thrift store ooh, several years back. But this shows you how old it is. <laughs> Rag Shop hasn't existed in, I don't know, maybe about 15 or 20 years. And this whole thing was just 66 cents. Isn't that, yeah, okay. So anyway, sometimes you find good deals in the thrift store. So I'm going to just take this cardboard off of here and I'm going to glue this down here. I'm going to get that going first so that can settle. And I got to kind of feel my way. It may not be perfectly straight because <laughs> I don't think I put this on perfectly straight. So I'm going to try to go straight with the glue and uh yeah hopefully it'll be enough i'm putting a whoops have a detour there i'm putting a lot of glue on and if i have to snip away any extras you know with the tip of scissors later i will do that but i've got very you know it's very roughly and deep and uh yeah so where do I want to go with this one? I'm going to say here. So let me see if I can. Oh, well, that's okay. Because that is a thread in here. Good. All right. And let's go ahead. Try to lay these in here somewhat straight. I may have to play with that a little to make them look straight and not all wonky. Hopefully I'm in screen here. Press it in, but not too hard. We actually push this down so it doesn't bounce so much. I'm pushing them into the glue. And then trying to make them as straight as I can. All right, I don't think that's bad. Okay. Now, before I go putting, and I should have thought of this before, I should have covered this, um, these flaps. So let me try to do that. I'm gonna just roll this back up and try to find the bag that I had for it. Ah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I keep making these New Year's resolutions that I'm not going to work on more than one project at a time. Um, if anybody, if you're, you know, who's watching has been following me for at, at least the beginning, since the beginning of this year, you'll know that I started, uh, I have two journals partly finished over here. One was the romance journal, one was the sewing journal. Um, I'm trying to catch up on things that I owe people. I'm just going to put this back. I have this huge bag of these things so yeah so i'm gonna put that back in here um so i have those two journals i have another journal that i'm working on for a uh, guest design team which i'm way behind on and yeah it's just been like oh my gosh <laughs> okay so i think what I may want to do, let me put this one to the side. Um, since that's going to go up, I think, <clears throat> I think I'd like to do that. So it has to go. <laughs> Yeah, you got to figure these things out. It has to go this way. So I am really going to try later to 
clean up this desk a little bit and try to put um, all the things that are supposed to be going together, together in like one big bag or something. A while back, I remember, I believe, purchasing these like two gallon, um, I'm wondering what I'm gonna do for the top one, but that's okay. I think I can manage. Um, these two gallon um, Ziploc bags to put projects in. I'm always, you know, finding something. And then I have all these different things that I can put projects in and honestly, I get it, it confuses me, I think, more than anything. But, you know, it's all like a learning curve. Oh, well, that's, I got to push this down here, don't I? It's all like a learning curve for me. So I want to try to get this lace up a little bit so that I can get under here. Um, 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 um. It's just glued down, moving the pearls, not the lace. It's just glued down here. I want to get that off of there so I can get the paper underneath. I think I've done it. Okay. Back in there. And I think I've done it. <laughs> I believe I can manage. There we are. Good. So yeah, I um, I don't know. I try all these different things and um, not always successful, you know? Not always successful. Okay, I'm going to try this because I want to be as precise as possible. This is shrinking, the space is <laughs> just shrinking. And I want so badly to be able to um, do a video for you on how I store things. How, you know, <laughs> that may not sound very encouraging to you right now, seeing what a, a mess I have. But, uh, all right, I think we're just going to go right up to there. It should be close enough. And then we'll go this way. Um... But I do like how I have come up, the idea for me, um, I've come up with the idea on how to store my digitals. And like I said, I've got, I don't even know how many. Honestly, I have no idea. I just took the blade right out of my thing here. <laughs> um, okay, I probably just went past that, but that's okay. No, I didn't. Perfect. Um, And I said I try to print most of them at least. Um, sometimes they look really nice, and then when I get them, they're not so nice, if that makes sense. Yeah, that goes like that, right? Okay. Um, and, you know, I look at them, and I might print one or two or, or look at them in the, um, you know, in the, what do you call it, itself, the computer and go, eh, you know, I might wait to print these because the ink is just so ridiculously expensive as we all know. And, you know, so sometimes there might be one or two that I like in the whole thing and I might print them, but I don't print the whole kit. So there's a, a color coding tab system, cheap, um, that I use so that I can see things um, and kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for. So <clears throat> this way, right? Yeah, I have to keep doing this so I know where I'm going. Um, I think I want to try if I can to, I'll probably be sorry if I try to score this. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it down and um, wait for it to dry before I really press it, press it back. So, um, yeah, so I store, I'll, I'll give you the rundown now, but hopefully I'll be able to 
<laughs> I keep saying I'm going to clean up and get this right, and I just don't get down here to do it. Um, but I store my printed digitals in small banker's boxes um, or boxes from copy paper because, uh, you know, I'm always ordering copy paper for our offices and stuff like that. So I just, you know, take the empty the empty cartons home when the paper is gone um, or, you know, the last few are there and I store them away or whatever. And I take the empty carton home and I use them with these pocket folders and I label the pocket folders with pencil so that it can always be erased if for some reason, you know, I probably won't use that digital again after I've printed it or something like that, or I don't think I will, but I've got new digitals that I think I will use so I can erase the old name. So, you know, that being said, um, <clears throat> here it is. Um, so that's what I try to do with that. So they're written in pencil, they're listed, and I, they're just listed as I do them on the envelope itself or the pocket folder itself. Um, as I print them, I just add them onto the list on the tab. Um, and I'm trying to get the extra glue out of here. And um, I'm hoping I took enough stuff off of this camera, by the way, so that it won't stop on me. So I'm probably going to try to keep most of my videos a little shorter till I'm sure of what's going on. Um, but anyway, I, uh, yeah, okay, so that's, so then what do I want in here is the question. So I use these little tabs to, um, yeah, I think, I think I like that idea. I can't fold it to find out if I really like it, but I think if I'm visualizing it well enough, I like that. Let me get rid of this because this is just in the way. I may end up using something like this. I have a few different kinds, but um, okay, this one goes down, so this one's got to go this way. And I think I'm going to do it like that. Um, so I have these tabs <clears throat> on everything, just little post-it tabs. And when I put, and when I print a, a digital kit group of papers, uh, let's just say I'm printing, you know, I like it. And so I'm going to print the whole thing. Um, let me move this down just a lick here so I can tell, I think where it is I need to cut. And I'm sorry if my head gets in here. My apologies. <laughs> um, it should be all right. Let's hope it's all right. Oh, I'm wrinkling up my, my pearls. No, no, no pearl wrinkling. Let's try to get that straight again. Straight-ish. All right. That's better, I think. I think, I hope. So what I do is, if I really, really like the kit and I'm anxious to use it, put a yellow tab that sticks up on the on the paper itself. So I have a post-it on here that says whose it is and, and the name of the kit, and then I'll put a tab on the paper. Yellow tells me it's either fussy cutting, something I want to get to right away, or that it's a, a kit that I want to use. I'm, I'm anxious to use it right away. If I put a star on the yellow tab, then it is um, something I'm really interested in. If I put two stars or asterisks on them, um, it's something I really, really want to do right away or get to right away. Um, if it's a Christmas kit, I... Um, I'm going to try to go here first. If it's a Christmas kit, it's got a green tab on it. Um, <clears throat> so all I have to do is just glance at the cartons with all of these files in them and just look for green tabs if I'm looking for Christmas items. 
Um, if it's got an orange tab on it, that means that I've only printed part of the kit. It's either too big or I wasn't that crazy about the kit. Or I've used it, parts of it, and other things. That's a possibility as well. So, so that's what the orange tab tells me. That for some reason it's incomplete. The you know what's in the folder is not the whole thing. So if I pulled it out and looked at it and go, gee, this is an awfully small kit, it's not really. I know that because I probably didn't print it all for whatever reason. It was either too big, I didn't like all of it, um, or I've used pages in other journals, which I am famous for doing. So, um, and if I've used them in other journals, it means I probably really like them. So it would mean I should go back into my computer and see what one is missing and print it um, to put back in the kit or something like that. Uh, so that's orange and yellow and green. If it's got a pink tab, okay, hang on a minute. Yeah. No, this way. Yep, that way. Um, I hope I went all the way in with this. I did. Okay. I cut something yesterday and I measured it against the wrong side of this and I cut it too short. Now I got to figure out where I'm going to use it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Um, so I'm trying to remember now. Pink tabs. <laughs> oh, pink tabs are background papers. Okay. Um, so if I, if I see something with a pink tab on it, that means it's basically a background paper. Okay. That can be used in a lot of different places. So that's what a pink tab tells me. And usually they're going to be nice. Like, like I have, um, Artie Mays has all of her background pages that she pulled from most of her kits. And she's got a blue set, a green set, pink and red or something like that, purple set, yellows, whatever. Um, and I have those. So they have pink tabs on them. That tells me I can just glance and say, I happen to know that, you know, I've got those from her. So that's easy to go look up for me. But there's a lot of other places that I may only have one set of papers from this, you know, this designer and uh, I don't necessarily remember their name or, you know, I remember thinking, gee, I know I found something that I like, but I can't remember whose it was. So I don't know where to look. Well, if I look for those pink tabs, I will eventually find it at least. So um, I have that for the pink tabs. Um, uh, blue tabs, and they sometimes come in a variety of ways. Sometimes they're just those little blue skinny tabs that you can get, like to, to mark where you want somebody to sign a signature or something on a document. But um, sometimes I just cut a piece of big blue, you know, and so it might be a different color blue, but it's blue. Nonetheless, it's blue. Blue tabs tell me that that paper or that paper group goes really well with another paper group or more. And if there's a lot of paper groups that they go well with, I will take the whole post-it. I'll put a blue tab and take the whole post-it and write on the post-it. Otherwise, I'm just writing on this little skinny tab. But it's telling me that either somewhere in this own designer's uh, papers that I have, there's another group of papers that go really well with this, or in other designers, they go well. The colors match, the, the patterns, the scales, you know, scale, whatever it is, all match really, really well. So that is um, what the blue tabs mean. So if I pull something out from, you know, whoever, and I think, gee, this is really nice, but I would like some sort of background paper that would go well with it. Well, I look at that blue tab and it's going to tell me where to go, where I can find papers that are going to match and work with that. And I'm looking for my tiny ruler. So I tell you how organized I can be. <laughs> and now I can't find anything. Um, 
Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to try to do it from this way. Let's open this up more. I'm just trying to, to do the score line again from the back a little bit to, to help me bend this better. Um, okay. So that's what the blue means. I'm trying to think, did I miss one? I had the yellow, which was papers that I really wanted to use right away or fussy cuts that I really should get to right away. Because I do have a box with fussy cuts, you know, papers in it. And most of the time they are going to be the flowers or butterflies that I use most often. But it's kind of full. <laughs> and I've got an envelope full. And, you know, I'm going to try to put this over here so it's a little less in my way. Um... So I, uh, you know, I try to try to get this a little straighter here. Okay. I try to, um, you know, if I have it and I just can't get to it, I've been doing a lot, getting a lot of, um, the PNG, like little vignette pictures or little mice or, you know, something like that not something that I would use in every journal, like butterflies and flowers. So I just, I put them back in their file where they belong, but they're marked with a yellow tab that says, at some point I wanna get in here and fussy cut these because, you know, whatever. I can use them on tags or I can use them wherever. I wanna press this down a little bit more because this is just an eighth of an inch this um, gusset or whatever, this, you know, fold, this little spine on here. So I want to make sure I try to press that down pretty well. And then I'll tell you, <laughs> might be smarter to do this when they're not attached. Okay, now let's put you back because you're looking crook-eyed. And there it's popping up again over here. So let me get this glue and we'll glue it from here. Make sure that that's really down. Okay. So I'm looking over here. So let's see, there's green. Um, I have orange. Oh, orange was the incomplete. Yellow was something I want to get to. Blue is it matches with something else. Green is Christmas and pink is background. So I have, if you know about the size of a box of 10 reams of paper, um, I have one, two, three, four, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven boxes like that with files in them filled with printed digitals, okay? So when you're trying to go find something, it helps to have some sort of a little flag that says, you know, this is what you're looking for. I mean, I may not find it in the first round of, you know, looking in the first box. They are in alphabetical order. They're stored in alphabetical order by, this is not, by um, designer. Um, and as I add, this is not the best looking piece here, but it will do. Um, as I add things, I, um, And just shift, you know, shift them back and add a box if I have to, you know, if that's what it ends up being. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I don't mind that. So, all right, I want to get this piece in now. So let's do that one. Get that down. So that is about the size of that. 
And I do see on this side, I've got edges I have to trim, but I can do that. I'll probably do that with a, um, I was gonna say spackle knife, a uh, craft knife. Oh, goodness. I don't know where my brain goes sometimes, honestly. Um, so anyway, uh, let me just pull that up because this is a little off. Sort of like me, I guess. But um, so that is my my system for being able to find things I want to do right away, projects that are in my mind. But you know that out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. And um, sometimes you just don't remember. You know, you go through and go, oh, yeah, I wanted to do that. Forgot all about that one, you know, kind of a thing. So I'll try not to do that. And this is, but I can't help it. I will always forget. So I'm gonna do it this way because this is the way. And I'm gonna just let that hang over the top. Okay. Um, so that is, um, you know, my way of trying to kind of remember some things. And, um, So, so that's my system, and, and it's kind of mostly over there, though I still have several boxes of paper. I'm trying to find where I marked this. I, I can't. I did, didn't I? <sighs> I don't see it. I see this one for how wide, but I don't see the other one for how long. So I will just go ahead and cut that there and then I will go back and try to figure out where this one was that's right side up and I think I'm gonna let this okay alrighty oh I see it now as soon as I lined up the thing the bottom I saw the mark only thought. So now it's just everything else I've got to get organized. <laughs> I've got, again, this big shelving thing to my left that's just a big pile because the shelves are like, I don't know, 18, 20 inches, maybe 22 inches apart. So I just pile stuff on top and on top and on top and, you know, I just make a mess out of it. And everything I want's on the bottom, and then I pull this out, and everything's all twisted. So I've got a plan for that. But I never get around to doing it. So it's either winter, windy, rainy. I'm looking for my... Didn't leave the desk. I know it's here. Can't find it. Oh, good heavens. Here it is. Oh, mama. All right. Um, you know, windy, rainy, winter, all of the above, snowing, whatever. Um, because I have to take the boxes that I'm trying to use to make the cubbies out of. And I, I just don't want the cardboard boxes up there with, you know, brown and printing and labels and, you know. I want them to look pretty. I'm certainly not gonna, you know, cover them with digitals or other paper or things like that. That's one, far too tedious. And two, for me, I'd rather use my materials for things, you know, like this rather than just for that. Um, so I uh, think I will, what my plan is to just, let me find the right one here. My plan is to just um, spray paint them. I have three cans of spray paint between white and beige. You think, I found one. <laughs> so I do have one, so that's, that's a start. Um, but I don't have all of what I need. So, all right, I think we'll be okay. I'm probably gonna have to trim up there just a little bit. 
Okay, I think I can get this on. And that should look pretty good. So, but anyway, that's kind of where I am with all of that now. So, so I still have some totes and boxes in the other room, things with like wrapping paper, like rolls of wrapping paper and big stuff that I really don't have a setup quite for yet. And see, this is my problem because well, for me, it's a problem because I move so frequently and I never know what kind of a space I'm going to have and how I'll be able to put everything that I have in a space, you know. So I don't buy anything expensive. I've got some of those storage cabinet things with the plastic drawers, you know, that stand on the floor. But again, I got those out of a thrift store. Most things don't match. <laughs> you know, they're, it's all just very eclectic and not very neat and pretty. Functional, but not very neat and pretty. And, um, you know, when I retire and I'm finally in my forever home when I, where I'm going to stay, um, you know, I can look at getting better cabinetry or things that would match or, you know, make it less chaotic looking. Um, cause I don't do well with chaotic. <laughs> I really don't. Um, yeah. So, so right now I'm still trying to figure out how to make this space work. And, um, you know, with the, with the stuff that I have, or things that I can collect like boxes or whatever and spray paint them and, you know, try to make them something useful. Um, so yeah, some things just, and of course, as I collect more things and add more stuff, then I've got, you know, more of a problem because now I got to figure out where am I going to put that? Some things I may already have similar to, but they won't fit along with the other stuff that are similar to them in the space that I have available. So then I might have to move things to, you know, make things fit. A hand is not happy and I am not left-handed, so this is not gonna look too good. Good thing you don't see the glue, right? But my, I have this thing with my pinky and it's always given me problems. And years ago I took violin lessons and you have to hold, oh, I'm right-handed, so, I would hold the bow with my left, my right hand and my pinky would constantly lock up trying to hold the bow because that's sort of your, it's like a leverage finger and it's just meant to lightly sit on the bow and it just would not do it. <laughs> just wouldn't do it. So I don't know what the issue was and I don't remember when it first started doing that, but I was doing it from the time I was about 20, I can tell you that. So... But, um, yeah, so anyway, um, okay, oops, slid a little too far this away. There we go. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, I think I'm good there. I think I'm pretty good there. All righty. So we have that. So if I ever get this done, <laughs> all right, um, that looks kind of pretty so far. I'm going to stand up here and have a look. Yeah, my pearls aren't straight, I can tell you that. I can try to keep making this. It's still pliable. It's because I keep flipping it around. I'll have to glue that little piece of lace down too standing up to try to see this a little better. That does look a little better. All right, and I am going to just stick that little puppy right on the corner, I think. Or do I want it up here? Maybe I want it up here. The reason why is because I didn't put any kind of a tie on. And I am thinking, hang on a minute, I have, 
I'm not going to put it on yet. I don't know what I did with... I got these. I don't want to use that. I think I want to use the other. Yeah, that's way, way the wrong thing. Um, I don't know where I put them now. Oh, for goodness sakes. Yeah, you know... I talk to you about being all organized and stuff, and I can't find this stuff because I just keep shoving things in different places. But I have this cheesecloth, a big strips of colored cheesecloth that I was going to cut down and use for ties. I'm not sure if it's a proper enough pink for this, though, cause, and I can't find it. I don't know where I shoved it. So I'm not going to put this on just yet because I don't know where it's going to go. But let's see how I am here. Oh, I got a few minutes. Let's see. Um, I have, I don't know if I want to do, now I've torn this off of another piece of paper. And I'm wondering if I want to use it as a belly band here. And then what would I put underneath? For a card that I could make. That would be too long. Let me put you to the side here, my darling. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that would actually, you know, it doesn't have to. That would actually kind of make a neat belly band, wouldn't it? Picks up the pink. Let's look at that in the camera and see what I think. I might do that. And if that goes back on it, it might be okay. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know I have to start using this paper. <laughs> this could actually be a good card, but that's going to be too wide then. Yeah. So if I do this one, I like that better. The thing with this, though, is I've got to put it on another piece of paper, and then I'm going to have to try to either tear or um, cut. But I can do that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like that. Hmm. Yeah, all right, let's cut that. We'll get that part going. Let me get my cutter back down here. Uh-oh. Hang on, guys. I lost my blade. It fell inside the container. Now let's hope I can get my hand in here. Yes, I can. Okay. All right, here we go. Just popped right off right off so where is my spot where it goes in there it is okay let's put my pin back in my glue okay and i'm gonna trim this part off okay Sometimes it's wise to start it from somewhere inside the paper because I'm going to need this anyway, right? Because um, if I try to drag it up on a piece, you know, where the corner of the page is or the edge of the page is very narrow, it just tears it up and rips up my paper. So I start it from 
bottom a little bit, or the top, depending. And um, usually I don't don't have a problem then. Yeah, this is, I keep storing it in a little place where it pops out to replace the piece and yeah. <laughs> Oh, that went right where I needed it, didn't it? Okay. There we go. That's that one. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this one just a smidge onto that. Okay. All right. Now, I think this is going to be too tall. I'm grabbing too many things. Um, yeah, so I am going to <clears throat> <clears throat> trim a little from the top, trim a little from the bottom. Hopefully that will be enough. Okay, so, gotta find my marks. I think that's it right there, All right? Okay, and I'll keep that because one never knows. I'm trying to decide where to keep it so I don't mix it in with other stuff. Okay, just, I think I'll go just a hair below that line, just a bit. Okay, put that over here. I know it's offset, but that's all right. I'll actually put this down here so I can stop standing up. All right, and that's gonna go in here. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I like it back a little bit. Mm-hmm. So it kind of stays hidden like it like it like it okay so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to find a longer piece which could be a problem here we are okay get that in there and i'm going to glue this onto here and i'm going to glue it right on the whole thing and then I'll just trim off what I need. So I've been getting a few minutes here and there to watch some of my favorite crafters and I've just been so inspired. There's some that I just so enjoy watching. Um, one of my favorites really is uh, Rita Jensen. It's like everything that girl touches turns beautiful it's just beautiful and it's funny because one of my least favorite combination color combinations and I'm a real I love colors but one of my least favorite was a very popular combination painting wise you know for home decorating painting um was yellow and gray and I was like oh my gosh and I do like yellow oftentimes um, I don't like it all the time and I don't like every shade, but I really do like yellow. If the shades are right and the design is right and, you know, the, the whole thing just sort of, you know, all the planets are aligned, so to speak, everything just sort of, you know, falls into place. I really do. I love it. Love it very much. As a matter of fact, one of the kits I have right now is yellow and I'm really looking forward to, to using it because it's just the patterns and the colors just really nice she decided to do a folio um, just a few weeks ago that was gray and yellow oh my gosh it is stunning absolutely stunning and she just so inspired me of course I don't have all of what she has because she has you know some books or you know, uh, maybe some old scrapbook paper from, you know, God only knows when or, you know, whatever, stuff like that. Um, but, um, you know, I, 
am really anxious to try to look and see, I can trim that little edge, to look and see if I can find stuff that is similar in feel and design and color because I really want to try to do a gray and yellow journal because it was just, it was, I loved it, you know, or, or a folio or something. It was absolutely stunning. So I really enjoy watching, watching Rita. Um, of course, I always enjoy watching Gail, um, just listening to her. And even with Rita listening to her and she has such pretty hands, Rita. I just love watching her hands, hand movements. And, um, <clears throat> of course, I, you know, Tanya from Taddy Treasures, um, another one. Everything she puts her hand to, it's amazing. Just amazing what she can do. There's so many. And, I mean, I have so many people that I follow. And, um, you know, I just, I can't get to everybody. Sometimes I just kind of, you know, go by what the picture is looking like on their thumbnail, you know, for the video itself. And um, I don't know if this is going to work, guys. <laughs> I'm going to try to tear along the edge of this. So far, so good. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but I'd like it to be as close as possible to what I have here. So we'll see. Tent seems to be working. Ooh, it's like a small miracle. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll look at the thumbnails and, um, you know, I, like most people who don't have a lot of time to watch entire videos from beginning to end, I'll, you know, go through it. And uh, my watch list probably has 1,300 videos in it. I have watched several, many of them, but I keep them there as a reference um, I was saying in one of the videos before this one that I don't have a um, an idea journal. <clears throat> and I, that started because my camera shut off because I have so many pictures of people's work in my, in my phone um, that I literally had over 16,000 pictures. Now there's family pictures in there and things like that as well. But and honestly, <laughs> I, I couldn't have 16,000 pictures of my family, I think. But uh, there's a good chunk of them. But most of it was was people's work, you know, that I that I want to try to, um, you know, copy in some way and use in my own work. Um, and if I got rid of the pictures, I'll never remember who or where or when. And, you know, I'll just I'll never remember. So that is my my philosophy. I'm going to keep this nonetheless, because who knows? Um so they're still all in there. I went through and I got rid of stuff that's, that's just been around in there for ages and just pictures of whatever pretty things or pictures from stuff off of Facebook and, you know, just whatever, stuff like that. That really was not important for me to keep, or at least not to me anyway. Um, so looks like I'm going to have to get new tape on my tear here. Um, scraping up some glue. So, uh, yeah, let me, let me just trim this edge right here. Because if I did this, eyeball this right before, I'll be able to start and end with a leaf showing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it a little off center just because I don't always put things off center. I usually um, put everything, you know, I'm trying not to be so symmetrical. <laughs> I'm really trying. All right, let's get my little guy for this one. Let's see if this is easier for me. And just go ahead and cut that right there. Can we keep that? Because who knows? Who knows? And a little on this end. Let's go ahead and put this down. I just measured it wrong. Oh, because I cut it in the wrong place, guys. 
There's my mark. I cut it on something else. Oh, my goodness. So, but I have, you know, you all give me such great ideas. And um, you know what? I'm going to line this up down here because I don't have a straight edge on the top to be sure that that looks pretty even there. Okay, let's hope. I don't think that's going to do me any good. Um, but um, I have to watch my time too because my husband has a medical procedure today and he'll be sedated. So I have to, I have to go with him so I can drive him home. And um, there it is. I just want to have a look to see how that looks in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right? Wow. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. Right, so I like that, and usually I'll find it. Ooh, there it is. Oh my goodness, I've got to clean this desk. Uh, but anyway, so like I was saying, I'm just so inspired by so many people. So I will be adding to my list of a thousand things to do, making a... Um, and it shouldn't be hard to do, right? Making an idea journal or an inspiration journal. Um, I'm going to probably make it pretty big um, to start with. And um, I'm going to stand up to do this, guys, because I get a better view from up here than from down there. So, pull that out, push that down, that's looking neat, I'm liking it, I'm liking it, okay, this is going to make some pretty stuff too, and I'm wondering, I don't have anything very big in here, but... You know, putting something. I've got butterflies out all over the place. They're flying out of my bowl, out of my tin. Okay, all right, so that's good. Let's put this to the side. Let's get this on some card. Let's see what I have down here. I'm getting a lot of little, little, little scraps now. Let's see. These are too small. Here, here we go. Yeah, that'll do it. So, um, yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to make, I may make two, honestly, while I'm at it. Um, I'm just going to, you know, keep them simple, keep them plain, just plain pages, obviously. And, um, yeah, I'm going to make myself a couple of inspiration books. I think that's what I want to call them and start looking through these photos and making what I'm seeing there. And then I can delete the photo. Makes sense, right? Gives me more room to do what I have to do and won't have to worry about my camera shutting off while I'm doing a video. So that's my plan. So yeah. But making a journal like that should be pretty simple because I'm just putting pages inside a cover and decorating a cover can go, <clears throat> excuse me, can go pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do somewhere in between all of this, oh, my Lord. But, you know, if I want to get organized, I have, I have to do the work to get organized and, um, and I said I made those pages for myself, the things that I don't have to be guilty, feel guilty about anymore. Um, 
it's a to-do list, but I'm, I got a nice, great big spot where I can just check it off because I keep things in my head and then I forget, you know, and then I think about it or it comes up somewhere and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about it. I feel so guilty. So <laughs> I'm trying really hard to, uh, to get those past obligations off of my heart and off of my mind um, and make it, you know, make it right again and uh, get on track. And I really do. I, you know, I keep saying it, but I have a hard time when somebody asks me, um, you know, would I do at least a, a guest, a guest design team project or something, but I, I, I need to say no. And the reason why it's not because I wouldn't want to, I love it. Um, and I, and I'm flattered and honored that people would ask me, um, the problem is I have such a hard time keeping the commitment, um, because of my work, because of my health, you know, because of my husband's health and, you know, it's not like we're dying or anything like that. Thank the Lord. But, you know, we have limitations and because of those limitations, we were at the doctor's offices. I was just at the doctor's office this morning. I had a doctor's appointment this morning. My husband has a procedure today. So, yeah. So, you know, tomorrow we're away from the office all day. We have to be at an event for our church, um, you know, for the organization of our church. Um, and that's an hour and a half ride each way. Um, and it's an all day uh, thing, an all day event. So we're going to be gone all day tomorrow. And by the time I get home, I don't know if I'm going to be wanting to <laughs> come down here or if I'm just going to be plain exhausted. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of where we are with those things. So that being said. Um, then Thursday, I have another doctor's appointment. That's the neurosurgeon. Friday, I think, I, I don't think there's anything on, oh, I have a neuro, I have the neurosurgeon on Thursday, but I also have an advisory board meeting at our church on Thursday. So I've got to try to not conflict those two. I'm hoping, I think my neurosurgeon is after the meeting. And I will have time to get there. Oops, wrong scissors. Um, here they are. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's kind of where I am, you know, with all this stuff. Uh, we will be going away. Not for long times. Well, six days. We have two more six-day being gone. <laughs> Um, the end of July, uh, we will be gone from July 27th through August 1st, and my family picnic is the end of July, that's Saturday, so we'll be back in New Jersey for a couple of days, visiting with my brother and my nieces and my nephews and their wives, I should say, my nieces and all the little babies and um, my son, of course. And uh, so we'll be there. And then on Sunday morning, the 30th, which is my husband's birthday, he will be 60 this year, the old man. <laughs> I might have to trim this down. It's a little too snug for me. It might go in, but I'm not going to try. Um, okay, I don't want to take too, too much off of the bottom. So just a sliver. Um, but we are going to get up early on Sunday morning and hopefully be on the road by about 6 o'clock. And we're going to take a six-hour ride from New Jersey up to Maine to visit some friends that we usually would visit in the end of July and celebrate my husband's birthday with them. But since COVID, we haven't been up there. 
and um, yeah, so he says, I want to go to Maine, celebrate my 60th birthday with our friends. So that is where we're going to head on that Sunday, the 30th. And on our way up, we have friends, uh, another set of friends that also live there, an older couple there, older than us, retired pastors that we had worked with um, in the past. And they are up there. And um, so we're hoping that we're going to be able to stop and have lunch with them on the way further up into Maine to go stay with our friends just for a couple of days. And then we're back because there's more events happening at church. Now, maybe I would like that out just a bit to give that little bit of a layer, that layered look. What are we thinking so far? Huh, I'm liking it. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for now, guys. Um, just another part of the process. And I'll be back with more as I continue to pull this stuff together. So in the meantime, be happy and be safe and be blessed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.